Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today is the longly awaited, highly requested, highly sought after, whatever you want to call it. And today is my review for the brand new fragrance, Ari by Ariana Grande. So this fragrance launched this year, 2015, and is the debut fragrance from Ariana Grande. This is the first debut fragrance we've gotten from a singer in a very long time. Last one I can think of that was a singer here in America was Pitbull. We also got Sofia Vengara last year as well. So, I mean, it's been a while since we've gotten a major debut like this. So, this is the box for Ariana Grande, or Ari by Ariana Grande. So, depending on which side, I think this is technically the front, but the back has um, a picture of Ari like this, which is the picture we saw on the Snapchat story and everything else when we found out about Ari. The sides both just say Ari by Ariana Grande. My box has a little dent right there from the bottle, which doesn't make me very happy, but it is what it is. The front says Ari by Ariana Grande with a different picture of her. The top has her signature, and then the bottom has all the information. So, she actually launched this through Lux Brands, which is a completely different company from anyone else um, who's launched a perfume, and it's actually a very new company, and this is the first celebrity they have launched with. So. On the front, though, we have kind of this, like, filigree, uh, frame. And then on this side, we also have, like, these triangle designs. With this, I also got the lotion. And the lotion kind of has that same triangle design on it that's on the box. As well as the coffee body scrub. So this one, I actually opened. Just to kind of smell it and see it. And it's, I don't know if you guys can actually see in there or not. But, it, uh... It's kind of like cakey, but not, like it's dry, but not super wet at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, I can't seal mine for something because of all like the coffee grinds in it, but it literally smells like weird coffee. Like it has a little bit of the perfume scent to it, but I mostly get coffee from it. So, but that's also the, because it's the coffee body scrub. I also have a sample that I got from, um another perfume I ordered. So I got this and it just has like the bottle on the front and on the back it's got some information about it. As well as the free gift when you pre-ordered it from Macy's was the free scented poster in which if you rub this little bottle down the bottom corner you can smell the perfume. But it's only like kind of like the base of the perfume. You're not getting um, a whole lot of the actual like notes and whatnot. So um, the bottle looks like this. I got the 3.4 ounce 100 milliliter bottle. The bottle is super detailed and it's super like, um, it's just like geometric patterns and whatnot. The top is this kind of like silvery rose gold color. The picture makes it look more rose gold than it really is. It's kind of a little more silvery, but it's still kind of rose gold. Then you've got the pom pom on the side, which comes off with this little clip right there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So you got that there. And then on the bottle itself, like on the little ring, it says Ariana Grande right there, around there. So, and then you've got the sticker on the bottom like you normally have. So, and then, so this perfume notes are, sorry, I had this up. Top notes are crisp pear, pink grapefruit, and juicy raspberry. Middle notes are soft mugget, which is also known as Lily of the Valley. Rosebud and vanilla orchid with base notes of marshmallow, creamy musk, and blonde woods. The only issue I have with this is the poof kind of gets in the way. So when you spray it, you almost have to like hold the poof like this so it doesn't roll in front of the bottle and spray when you spray it. But that's okay. I guess. Also, I forgot to show you guys the inside of the box. So the inside is that same kind of lavender color that the rest of the box is. But you got like the cardboard sleeve and then it splits like this and then it opens up like that with the bottle sitting inside there like that. So, there's that. So, upon the first spray, when you first spray it, I do get the raspberry, um, the grapefruit's kind of there, but it doesn't make a super citrusy. It kind of adds a little bit of a citrusy note to the fragrance, but it's not super citrusy throughout the entire fragrance, which makes it really nice because I was kind of worried about that. So the pink grapefruit, not super prominent note in the fragrance. It's there, but it's not super, um, super, super done. The pear kind of adds a crispness to the top of the fragrance that's a little bit different. Um, 
We do get pear a lot in fragrances, but it's a little different this time around. Um, middle notes, the rosebud, lily of the valley slash mugget, and the vanilla orchid. I definitely get the vanilla orchid. I get a lot of the vanilla for this fragrance. Um, it's not super vanilla like Mad Potion, but it's a little bit different. Um, you get a little bit of a floralness, but it's not overly floral. The base notes of the musk, the blonde woods, and the marshmallow. I feel like the marshmallow is a standout note in this fragrance. You definitely do smell the marshmallow a great deal throughout this entire fragrance, adding kind of the soft, subtle sweetness to the fragrance. Um, it does have pretty good lasting power and sillage, so you can pro it does project pretty far. It's just, it's a very soft and girly feminine fragrance. Not to sound typical, but it is kind of your typical celebrity endorsed perfume, where it's just super fruity and slightly floral with that like sweetness to it. It's not super citrusy, or not super super sweet, like candy sweet. That marshmallow just kind of gives it a soft, subtle sweetness to it. Um, what's kind of cool about this fragrance though is the top kind of plays into the base. Once you get to the base, the top notes kind of come in and just um, add themselves into the fragrance every now and again. So every now and again you'll get a little bit of burst of the grapefruit, but it's not like super citrusy. Every now and again you'll get like a burst of the raspberry without it being super berry-y. You mostly in the base you're getting that marshmallow and the blonde woods with the vanilla orchid backing it. But every now and again a fruit will pop out and kind of play its ear to you and tell you that it's still there. So lasting power on this. I haven't had it long enough to give you lasting power, but based on my opinion and how normally I wear perfumes and knowing, this is about six to eight hours of lasting power, but it is a very soft scent. Um, it's a very easy scent, so it wouldn't be something that would not be terrible to rewear. Um, with this, I also ordered the, the hair mist, and I didn't get that in my box today. It's actually supposed to be delivered tomorrow. But the hair mist is just a watered-down version of the perfume you can spray in your hair so that your hair kind of has that same scent of the fragrance so you kind of have it all over your body. Lotion, obviously it does help with keeping the fragrance to last longer. Um, this definitely could be someone's signature scent. It's definitely um, that kind of easygoing day-to-day -day wear scent. I would say it's an all-year-round fragrance. It doesn't really have a specific season if I were to give it the season. I would say spring, but I definitely would say it is that kind of all year round general signature scent that someone could wear just easily all day long everywhere. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. That was my review of Ari by Ariana Grande. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. The links are in the description below. As always, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.